Hey guys, and how about we play Pokemon Ash Gray version? Let's go straight into this house! Hey look! Oh no! Oh, I remember, it's this boy! He gave us... No, he didn't give us. We bought the ticket, so now we can ride this ship thing. So let's see what it is. Hello sir, how are you? The passengers are restless from this long voyage. You might be challenged by the more bored ones. Awesome! I get a fight! Oh, black. Oh, I was like, no, I wanted to fight people! I love how the ship just, like, coasts out on its side. I don't think they can really do that. But hey, awesome! Let's go kill pe- I mean, fight people. What a show! I'm starting to think there is no show on this boat, because I've just gone around and I've beaten, like, half these people. Like, I've beaten that side of the room. So now- Oh, I think she's the last person. I think that was the last person. I guess I'll heal? Hello, I'm the nurse of the showboat. Would you like me to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yes! Awesome! Health and PP is all mine. Alright. Um, but I beat him. Oh, there, there's a door! I can check the doors. Clearly, I'm supposed to go in rooms like this. What are they all looking at? Quiet! Please keep your voice down backstage. Oh. Oh! Your Gengar seems so happy! It must be nice to have such a close relationship with it. My Raichu is so afraid of me, it won't even perform. I think that's because I'm afraid of it. The first time we met, it shocked me, and I've been afraid of getting shocked again ever since. <laughs> I like how shocked is spelled there. I know. Would you battle my Raichu? Using it in battle will show I'm not afraid of it, and it will trust me again. Oh, so you're just gonna... You're gonna lie to your Raichu? Because you are still afraid of it. You told me that. But whatever. I'm perfectly fine with fighting Breeder K. You psychic! Good. You did excellent, Spooks. Ow, that hurt. Shadow Ball! Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. That's right. Fear my Spooks. I'm not afraid anymore. Oh good. See, now you're being honest. Thank you, Ash. Now I'm no longer scared of performing with Raichu, and so it's no longer frightened of me. As my thanks, please take this TM. Ash received TM16 from K. I don't know what that is, but thank you! Now with Minchoke finally defeated, Clefable hoped that Hitmonchan would give up fighting forever, and promise to never go away again. <laughs> Please, kid, I'm trying to read my dialogue! On top of being the announcer, I also do the lip syncing for Minchoke! Oh, nice! I understand, Hitmonchan, but I'll wait for you, and I know you'll return as the world champion. Can't you see I'm in the middle of a show? Who else would read Clefable's lines? Oh, fine. Clefable, I cannot stay. I must see how far my talents can take me. Don't disturb me now. I'm performing for the show. Oh, sorry, old man. Wow, all right. Let's check out the other rooms, or at least this hall. Oh, 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 they must be watching out a window. I get it. I can't walk away. I have to stand here and fight, all right? I never forgive myself. No matter what happens, I'll be right here. <laughs> You'd better get ready to lose, because I'm going to be the champion. Ah! Ah, they're fighting! I lost! Victory! Congratulations, darling. I owe it all to you, my love. And so Hitmonchan defeated his rival. My joke is rival. Hey! Claps! Alright, that was- oh, Repel. Didn't know I had one. That was the show they were talking about. Okay. I guess I'll beat these trainers really quick. You grounded me. I did beat these trainers already. So I guess that is the whole thing. I'll heal again and then I'll head out. Well, that was fun, but I think it's over. So, we're leaving. <laughs> and Ash fell into the ocean. Goodbye, boat! It was fun! Alright, now where are we? Actually, let's switch out Spooks really quick. I think Rebel needs leveling. I know, of course, Labrys needs the most out of my entire party right now, because everyone else is like 57 to 59. But, that's on its own time, because I'll need to do a lot- Hey, it's Misty! Hey, Misty, how's it going? I'm so excited! My Psyduck finally evolved! I was battling Marina because she's a water trainer like I am, and we wanted to see who the better trainer was. Then, when I went to call my Psyduck to battle, my brand new Golduck appeared! It's so strong, too! It'd be Marina's whole team with these! So how about it, Ash? 
Let's have a rematch and see who the stronger trainer is now. Alright. I'm totally gonna win. I mean, a Golduck, I'm sure it really is strong. And usually when they have it like this, they're like 60, maybe 70. But I think I can handle it. Rebel's probably not the best choice for right here, but Skull Bash! Might as well. There's up his defense. Because that's a phrase. Use it. Kill it. Darn, so close. Alright, finish it off with Bubble Beam. Maybe. Good. I mean, not very effective, so, you know, it's a maybe, but it worked. Star, you were gonna switch out. We'll let Bulba take this one. I think Pikachu will be the one to handle the, um, the Golduck. That just makes sense to me. Alright, Razor Leaf! Good work, Bulba. Knew you could do it. Then again, if Bulba handles the Golduck, it'll bring him closer to level 59, so I might as well. Yeah, level 60, called it. Razor Leaf! Kill it, kill it, kill it! Dang it, that's okay. It's two levels higher. Hit underwater. Oh no! Substitute! Mostly because I like that move, it's just a fun move. Haha, -ha, that didn't hurt at all. Leech Seed! I know, I can easily finish the battle with Razor Leaf, but now that I be a substitute, I kind of just wanted to heal with Razor, or Leech Seed, you know. At least one bit. Now hurry up. There we go. Now, Bulba, finish it off with the Razor Leaf! Proud of you! All the pride! Ah, so much. How could my new Golduck lose? Because I'm better. Well, I might not have beaten you, but at least I got a brand new Golduck. <laughs> That's the spirit. Okay, Golduck, return to your Pokeball now! Or now. Uh... Wait. Oh no! That Golduck must have been a wild Pokemon! I had dropped Psyduck's Pokeball in the lake, and when I went to pick it up, Golduck jumped out. That means I still have my same old Psyduck. What a headache, da da da. Come on, Psyduck, time to go. Well, just push me, why don't you? Fine! You know what? Ash Ketch from Palatan doesn't care because he kicked your butt! Let's talk to Marina. Even though the Golduck she battled with was wild, it still proves what a great trainer Misty is. She was able to control a wild and untrained Pokémon without catching it. That takes real skill. Especially considering she apparently had no idea what the Golduck's moveset was, you know? Okay, she had some idea because Golduck Psyduck. Oh wait, where am I supposed to go? Did I miss something over here? Can you surf to the east? No, you cannot. I guess I start surfing from this little place over here? Well, that's my best guess right now. Let's go! Okay, well, I just ended up back here, and it's... There's not really any place else to go, as far as I saw. I mean, unless there's a place to the left here. Not from the boat, but I came from the left, didn't I? Pretty sure that's where I came from. Yeah, I beat all these guys. So, what am I missing? Where am I going now? I'll get back to you. Aha! You can go up from that island, the one where we fought Misty. I went back, found it out, I'm awesome. Let's fight! Now that he's finished, let's keep going north. Or up! However you want to describe- Ah, oh, dang it, there's another one. Hey, and there's Joy! Hoop. Wow, she is a fast swimmer. Alright. It's all healthy and strong again, so let's see if you can beat my Pokémon. So I understand that Nurse Joy must come out here now and then to heal them, or they would go back to the cities to be healed. But why did they show Nurse Joy swimming off like that? And here again? Are they just... Why? I don't care if you're healing them! Good job! You're doing your job, you know? Like... Whatever, Nurse Joy. Why don't you come heal my Pokémon real quick? Alright, let's see if we can't find Nurse Joy again. I mean, why is she, like, purposely avoiding us? Holy buckets, is that a real magic art? Ah! 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 Get off me! Get off me! What do I do? I can't, uh, like, talk to it. Come on. There it is. It's a giant magic card! It's flailing around like it's out of breath. But it's too big to move, da da da. Oh, there you are. You better step away from it, da da da. 
It's not safe to get near it when it's in this condition. It was on top of me, ma'am. You had no idea. It's upset because it's running low on calcium. And it's probably running out of oxygen. Here you are, Magikarp. That should make things better. All right, back into the ocean. Magikarp, Magikarp. Oh, cool. I take care of the Pokemon all around this area of the Orange Archipelago. Since so many of the smaller islands don't have Pokemon centers, I go out from island to island to help the sick or injured Pokemon. That Magikarp is an old friend of mine. It won't harm anyone. It can't, anyway. It only knows Splash, right? I have a Pokemon center on this island, but I'm not always around. When I am, I'll be happy to heal your Pokemon for you. But since you were so kind and tried to help my friend, Magikarp, please have this. Ash received the Deep Sea Scale from Nurse Joy. Awesome. I have to be off, but I'm sure we'll run into each other again. Soon is what I expected. I expected it soon. Alright, um, if you're gonna be in your Pokemon Center, you might as well heal my Pokemon now. Right? Heal them. Now that that's done with, how about we continue on east? Because why not? Seems that's the progression so far, like north and east, typically. Here's an island. Naval Island. Alright, that's weird, but... Um, I'm game, I guess. Might as well buy more repels while we're here. We seem to be using them a lot now that we're on the ocean all the time. Max repel. We want to buy this many, so we have 15. There we go. Now let's see what the island has in store for us. Aside from the store, aha! Well, there's a Pokemon Center, that's new. Naval Island, the Mountain High Island. All right. And here's a wharf. I guess we'll check that after we do whatever's on this island. What are you? If I can read. Welcome, Pokemon trainers. All naval gym challengers must climb to the top of the mountain. All trainers must reach the top of the mountain using their own resources. If a trainer uses the cable card to reach the top, he will be disqualified. Danny, Naval Island Gym Leader. All right, Danny, I'll take on your challenge. I happen to have a climb kit. And I will take the left one, because why not? Oh no, not a cave. What a brilliantly short cave! I like that cave. All caves should be like that. It's like Victory Road Cave! You just go through. That'd be fun. Oh, but is this gonna be like a... I was gonna say a maze and a puzzle, so I was gonna say a muzzle, but that's not a thing. But no, it looks like it got to the top alright. The only thing I can imagine missing are like items along the way. It's just kind of weird how I got up so easily. Unless I'm not all the way up yet. There could be more to this. No! Ah, ah. Oh good. Pokemon didn't get me. Is this water? Yeah, it looks like water. Alright. Can Pokemon find me here? No. I'm gonna say no. Because there's a house. If you plan on challenging the gym leader, you can't use the cable car. You have to climb the mountain yourself. Those are the rules, da da da. Well, it's a good thing I've climbed so far. Not gonna use the cable car, no siree ma'am. Here's the gym. There was nothing up to the left, by the way, so here's the gym. Well, that was easy. I'm Naval Island's gym leader and the member of the Orange Crew, Danny. Not and the member, just member. Nice to meet you. Here are the rules to competing at my gym, so listen carefully. Matches here are determined in three rounds, and if you can win two out of the three rounds, you'll earn the Sea Ruby Badge. Understand? In the first round, we'll see who can freeze hot water the fastest. Meet me at the snow hill west of the gym, and be sure to bring a Pokémon that knows the move Ice Beam. If you don't have a Pokémon with the move Ice Beam, you'll have to forfeit the first match. Alright! But now, do I bring Lapras? Or Rebel? I mean, I'll bring them both, but uh... You know. Wait. Oh, there he is. I'm like, wait, what did he say I was supposed to do? Okay. In round one, we'll be using Ice Beam to freeze water. The Pokemon that gets the job done fastest will win the round. Ready? Okay, let's go! Lapras used Ice Beam on the hot spring. Bull crap! Your Pokemon wasn't strong enough to beat Danny. You lost the first round. In round two, your Pokemon will do their best to shape the ice block frozen in round one into a sled. 
The first to finish wins the round. Ha! Suck it! Congratulations, you won round two! It looks like we've each won a match. Each! <laughs> the tiebreaker to determine if you're good enough to have a battle with... Wait, if you're good enough, it's to have a battle with... Dang it. So battle me. We'll be a sled ride down the mountain. Alright. Meet me at the base of the mountain and we'll begin our race. Wait, if we're going down the mountain, don't we want to meet at the top, Danny? Okay, I guess here. Since we've each won a round, in order to prove to me that you're worthy of a battle, you have to beat my time in a race down this mountain with the sled you built. Use the sled to slide down the slopes in the mountain. If you make a wrong turn, that will give me an advantage. I'll go first. Whoever makes it down the mountain the fastest with the least mistakes will be the winner. I'll meet you at the bottom, Ash. Gosh dang it, Ash got in the sled. Ah, okay. Ah, um. How do I even go? How do I go down and do the thing? Uh, what the buckets am I? Go! Ah, uh, cave? Do I go in the cave? You can't enter the cave ring. Ah, how do I go? <laughs> how do I win? <laughs> it's not doing anything. Oh, there it is. Well, oh, I didn't see these little markings before. Hardly fair. Uh, ah, ah, go back up the hill! Go back up the hill! There's no marker here! What? What? Uh, yeah, I'd like to climb it. Fine. And then I'll sled this way, I guess. Okay, that's why there were all these different ways to go. I get it. It's just stupid. I don't like it. That's not a way! That's not even a way! Which way is the way, then? I don't even know! Why do I suck at all the racing events? These gyms are stupid! I don't like these gyms. I really don't. I'm not trying to enter the cave! Gosh, dang it, you sub- DANG IT! DANG IT, YOU ASSUMING GAME! Ah, Why is this so hard? Why? I just want to win! I want to win stuff! Don't go down, okay. Down? Huh? Huh? I'm not trying- Ugh. Sorry, ass, but you took one too many wrong turns. Try again if you like, but you'll have to do better than that to prove you deserve a battle with me. Ugh. Fine, I'll go back up. Here we are, okay. Yes, yes, let's do it. Since we've each won a round, in order to blah 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 blah, baby at a time race that they have a sled. I get it! Okay, so... I have to find... God, I probably should have picked first which way. Was it here? Okay, this works. Then down. Then here. Um, here. And here. Not there! Not there! Okay, I remember now. I think. It's here, but not all the way. Here, yes. Yes! Yes! I know, I... What? I took like one wrong turn! Really? <laughs> I don't want to go back up. Getting so tired of climbing this mountain. Yes, let me try again. This time I am going to win, I think. We will at least try. Apparently he only cares about wrong turns, so I'll just try to be really careful, right? So first we go here, down, here, down, here, down. Fuck, it said I do it wrong. No, I didn't. Right here, and then here, yeah. I did, like, no, nothing wrong there. Yes! I don't know how, but you beat me. That means you won two out of three matches against me and proven you're worthy to battle me for a Sea Ruby badge. You ready, Ash? This isn't going to be easy. Meet me in the gym at the top of the mountain, and we'll have our battle. Gosh dang it. Finally, we're at the top of the mountain again, and we're ready to take on... Danny? Was that his name? I have Pikachu in front, by the way. Since you beat me two out of three, I think you earned the chance to battle me for a Sea Ruby badge. Are you all set? Then let's go! Bring it on, Danny. I'm not afraid of you. Especially when I see that you look like that. That is quite ridiculous. Well, okay, I figured since he had Ice Beam, I was gonna be up against some, you know, whatever. Thunderbolt! Ha! Ah, eat it, Geodude! Uh, I almost knocked you out with Thunderbolt! I am quite impressed with myself! And Pikachu goes down. Sorry, buddy! 
let's see. Lapras! Why not, right? It'll be easy. You surf! And down Geodude goes. No one's surprised, of course, but down he goes nonetheless. Nido Queen, we'll keep her out. Alright, you surf again! Ow! Not my fault, I didn't know Nido Queen knew that. Alright. Spooks, go! You psychic! Oh, so close. Okay, I don't... Uh, I don't just want to use Psychic again, but I don't think Shadow Ball would hit. I'm not sure. I'm iffy, so don't yell at me if it would have. Whatever. We wasted one PP. Yeah. Electrode, we will switch for this one. We will let Bulba go. But what method do we want to take? First, we'll see what Razor Leaf can do on its own. Not bad. Ow. Ow! Ow! Stop it! Why did that hurt so much? Okay, I obviously need more help. So I'm gonna take Leech Seed. That's right. Heat that electrode. Let's hope he doesn't use Mirror again. Hey! 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 That is not fair. I hate that move so much. You know what? Fine. It's like I lose one Pokemon for every Pokemon that he loses. It's so sad. Because this, it doesn't seem like this should be a close battle. Ice Beam! Bug and flying, right? Should be like doubly effective. Now, Rebel's Ice Beam isn't too powerful, considering he's holding, I think, Miracle Water? Is that what it's called? Mystic Water? He's holding the up water item, not the ice one anymore. Lapras is holding Nevermelt Ice. Mystic Water, I believe it was. What next? Machoke? Well, Carter P, it's your turn to shine. All right, Carter P, use Aerial Ace! Finish him in this next move! Ow, ow, okay. Oh, for a second I thought I was gonna freeze him. Let's see what Psybeam can do. Not quite as much, I don't think. So we'll use Aerial Ace again. Second. Oh no, Carter P! Carter P, no! Aerial Ace! You can do it, buddy! Come on, buddy, hang in there! Uh, Aerial Ace! Oh, good. Oh, I knew you could do it, Carter P. Do you see the trust that I had in you? I knew you could do it! And you're almost level 59. Congratulations, Ash. You beat me. Dang stra- Oh, 12,000 Poké Dollars. I'm good with that. You were great! You chose your Pokémon well. You won two out of three and beat me in battle. Now I'd like to give you something you really deserve. The Sea Ruby Badge. Ash received the Sea Ruby Badge from Danny. With no change in music, apparently. There it is. I spoke too soon. Good luck on the rest of your journey, Ash. Thanks, Danny. I appreciate it. Ah. Oh. Ash Ketchum from Pallet Town is gonna have such an awesome journey! But now I wanna ride the cable car down. Because I'm tired of running down mountains and everything. Healing would be pretty nice too. But first actually, what does my trainer card say? Does it have anything about these? Nope, nothing about these badges, alright. Would you like to take the cable car to the bottom of the mountain? Yes! So happy! I like that music though, I really do. Well hey, that was good! Let's go find that- oh here's the Pokemon Center. Head in and heal. Alright, so next time we'll take this wharf and it will be amazing. So with all that, thanks for watching! I hope you enjoyed that, and if you did of course feel free to leave a like, comment, and if you're new, even subscribe. It means a lot, it really helps me out, and I'd love to have you guys. So, tune in next time for my next video, and until then, take care.